So do you think there is a, a sort of training benefit? I know there's a health benefit, but a, a training benefit in the lowest zone. So, so we kind of think about zone yeah. two as where Kipchoge is probably spending 60 to 70% of his time. He can still talk. Yeah, it's probably right, right at the edge of two or three. Yep. And then, um, and then obviously he's in zone three, four for, you know, kind of race pace. Yeah. And then, and then he's like four, five, 10% of correct. his mileage, which correct, is correct, you correct. Know, really stretching himself. Now is Kipchoge or are other athletes deliberately putting time into zone one? which is truly a recovery pace or? Yeah, they do that when they're recovering, you know, f between intervals. And and you would be amazed at how, uh, I mean, because I did it many, many years ago, you know, getting started. So the first mile or two can be very slow. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can be just almost a walk, jog, and then they kind of drift into it. Uh, and, and I think, but but thinking about the listeners who are just trying to improve their health, that where you, that's where you come back to physical activity, you know, versus intentional training. So, you know, you start looking at the health benefits of just kind of uh, less than brisk walking, you know, purposeful, but not really brisk walking. They're substantial. Yeah. So, so I, I think, you know, people at zone one, two, you know, you know, you know, parking your car uh, farther out in the parking lot and, and strolling in, I think, you know, walking the dog and that can mean all sorts of things, depending on what kind of talk you have and, and who's in the neighborhood. Uh, you know, can, can helpful. I mean, the, the data on gardening, uh, you know, and again, you, you could be out there uh, hacking away weeds with a, with a machete, or, but, but most of us think about gardening as relatively light exercise. So the, the health benefits of, of light physical activity, light exercise, I mean, are substantial. And remember, you're, you're correct in the sense that, it, that it, at least from our perspective, there is no J-curve and things, you know, things are, are go up. But it's not completely linear. And, and you know, the, the, the biggest benefit people get health-wise is the first 10 or 15 minutes a day. And why do you think that is? Well, I, I think that if you, if, you, if you look at what 10 or 15 minutes does, I mean, I think it begins to do things in your skeletal muscle that improve your insulin sensitivity and, and help you fight against uh, diabetes. I think just a tiny bit of additional physical activity is at least some buffer against weight gain. I think that there's some uh, improvement in your the lining of your blood vessels and, and probably some improvement in your autonomic function. Is, is, your, is your heart going to get bigger? Are you going to get a, a more efficient cardiac pump? Probably not. But are you going to begin to, to do some of the things? Uh, and the answer is yes. Thank you.